SCV. And today's Halloween shirt is this spider web with like a doll head in the middle. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's so cool. And like the sleeves are colored. I love Etsy. I actually buy most of my shirts from Etsy because they're just so cool. So today's video was highly, highly requested for some reason. When I asked you guys what creepy videos you wanted to see, a lot of you guys said you wanted one on Baby Alive. So because I couldn't do like a full video on Baby Alive, I'm gonna be talking about a bunch of old dolls and toys that people used to have that were just weird and creepy. But of course we're gonna start off with Baby Alive. But before I get into this video, I have a very exciting announcement. I have been waiting for this day for so long. I have never done this before. We have just launched our Halloween mystery boxes. I've never done a Halloween mystery box. Honestly guys, these are my favorite boxes yet because you guys know how much I love Halloween so I put everything into this box. Usually when we do a mystery box launch we always do about 300 boxes but because I wanted all of you to get a chance to have a Halloween box this year we're doing 500 boxes so I'm gonna briefly show you some of the things that you might get in your box. The first thing is my favorite thing in the box. It is a baby bat okay. It's hard to see with my dark background but it has has these like little leathery wings and has these cute little beady eyes and ears. It's the softest thing in the world and it's just adorable. We've got some That's So Creepy Pop Sockets. We have a bunch of cute and spooky necklaces. This one says beautiful, but because this is a mystery box, everyone's gonna be getting a different kind of necklace. We have these screaming straws in the box, and there's also different colors and kinds of these as well, and they are so cool. So basically, if you put them in water, in coffee, in your drink, whatever, as you're sipping the straw, it screams. It has this creepy, Halloween scream. It's ridiculous. We got a whole bunch of different Halloween pins that have these jewels all over it and they actually light up. Let me show you. How cute is that? And there's also a whole bunch of different mystery pins like this. So I like to put this on my purse or my jean jacket. You could put it on your bag as well. I also, of course, put in a little pouch of Halloween candy because you gotta, it's Halloween. I threw in a little vampire photo. There's just a whole bunch of stuff. So I cannot wait for you guys to get these boxes. We literally have a little warehouse and we pack all of these ourselves. So, so much love and care goes into it and everyone's gonna get different colors and cool different things. So if you guys would like one, the link is down below in the description. Once we sell out, we sell out. We can't do any more. So if you really want one, definitely go check it out. And yeah, this is my favorite box yet. So without further ado, let's move on to this video. Let's first talk about Baby Alive. The first Baby Alive doll was made in 1973 and people went crazy over it. It could be fed food packets mixed with water and came with a bottle, diapers, and feeding spoon. The spoon would be inserted into its mouth and a lever on its back pushed to have it chew the food. So basically the doll would chew up the food and it would end up in her diaper. So yeah, it produced droppings and threw up regularly. So this doll absolutely amazed people because it was the first baby doll in history that ever like did stuff like that. And in 1992, the first talking baby alive doll was produced. It was fed in the same manner, but swallowed automatically without the need for the lever. And it used a potty instead of a diaper. And this was actually the version of the doll that I had and I loved it. But I have to just mention, do you guys remember that disappearing milk bottle? It literally blew my mind. So when you held it like upright, the bottle looked full, but when you tipped it over to feed your baby, it would like empty. I remember spending hours trying to figure out how that worked when I was a kid. So let's talk about some of the creepy stuff and the problems that this doll had. There's actually been a lot of recalls on this doll because it overheats so easily. Like there were so many incidents of this doll actually burning a hole through its clothes. Like that's how hot they got. They burned their clothes, which is obviously very dangerous. Like imagine holding this doll and like cuddling with it and suddenly it turns to like lava. And also just like anything with batteries, there are so many stories online about people having very creepy experiences with their dolls turning on by themselves at night or making deep creepy voices instead of the normal cute baby voice. And I mean, this is obviously a very common theme that we talk about in these like nostalgic videos. If things have batteries, they're gonna freak you out at some point. But I did find this very creepy story about this 
father who got this horrible scare from the doll when he got into his car for work in the morning and he saw this baby alive doll sitting in the passenger seat. She was making this constant chewing sound with her mouth with no one touching any buttons and she was holding this clump of hair in her right hand and when he brought the doll inside and asked his daughter how she got there, the daughter said she did not put it in her father's car. In fact, she slept with it the previous night. So she had no idea how it got from her bedroom to her father's car. And they also had no idea who the hair belonged to. It was almost like the doll literally reached onto someone's head and pulled out a huge clump. Like imagine waking up in the morning and your doll is holding someone else's hair. No, thank you. So I couldn't find like a ton of creepy stuff on Baby Alive. So if I missed anything really cool, definitely comment it down below. But we're gonna move on to another old toy called the Chatter Telephone. The Chatter Telephone is a pull toy for toddlers that came out in 1962 by Fisher Price. The toy has a rotary dial that rings a bell and was conceived as a way to teach children how to dial a phone. And clearly phones were dialed very different back then. You had to like spin the phone in circles to like dial the number. I remember that when I had this toy as a kid, I had no idea what that meant. So I would just sit there and like spin the thing in circles for hours and hours. And apparently this toy is a character in the Toy Story 3 movie. So let's talk about the evil chatter telephone. During my research, I came across this very strange listing on eBay for an evil version of this toy. Apparently it makes creepy sounds when you use it and its eyes move up and down when you pull it around. So this person who's selling this on eBay actually took a regular phone toy and changed it up and made it into an evil one. And he says that whenever you pull it, it actually makes the grudge noise. And you guys know how horrible the grudge noise is. I'm like tempted to make that sound right now, but I'll freak myself out. <laughs> And this guy actually has a whole eBay store where he takes normal toys and turns them creepy. I think his username is my Halloween. Oh, my Halloween. And then there's something creepy where kids actually talk to ghosts using this phone. So obviously kids are supposed to pretend to be on the phone while using this toy. So they will often have silly little conversations with themselves. I remember when I used to have this phone, I would like pretend I was ordering pizza or something. But there are actually accounts of parents who have heard their kids having much creepy creepier conversations with this toy. Like one time this little boy went up to his mom after having a phone conversation and he said, Hey mom, Charlotte told me to look for her under the house. Which totally freaked her out because she thought that maybe her house was like built over some old burial ground. Because why would a ghost girl be under the house unless she was buried there? Next, let's talk about the eight-legged doll. This is a very rare doll from the early 19th century. And it was like a very innovative design for its day. It had a wheel of legs, which allows the doll to walk when it's pushed across the floor. I don't know how kids didn't find this to be terrifying back in the day. Imagine your parents giving this doll to you for Christmas. <laughs> I'd be like, mom, what happened to Barbie? But apparently if you still own this doll or know someone who owns this doll, like maybe your like great grandma like still has this doll, it's apparently selling for upwards of $8,000 because it's so rare. But yeah, I just, I don't want a doll with a million legs. <laughs> and lastly, let's talk about the frozen Charlotte dolls. These are tiny unglazed porcelain dolls with no movable limbs. And they were first manufactured in Germany in 1850. And they were actually sold to be dolls that you can put in the bath with your baby. So they were kind of like the first like bath toys, if you will. However, the tiny white dolls soon became associated with a popular poem of the day called Young Charlotte. Now, what's so creepy about this poem is that it's supposed to be about this woman who froze to death on New Year's Eve. I'm not sure how these dolls became associated with that poem, maybe because they look like little frozen people, but now they're called the Frozen Charlotte dolls. The dolls cost only one penny each, and they usually come with their own coffins and blankets. So literally, if you bought a Frozen Charlotte doll, it would come to you with a blanket in a coffin. It would look like this poor person was just frozen in a doll form. And in Britain, Frozen Charlottes were often baked into cakes and puddings as a creepy surprise for kids at Christmas. If my mother baked this doll for me in a cake, I would scream 
and I would never stop screaming. Anyways, guys, those are all of the creepy old toys we're gonna be talking about today. If you like this kind of topic, I can definitely keep doing this series, so give this video a thumbs up if you would like me to. And if there are any other creepy old dolls you want me to talk about, definitely comment them down below. And don't forget, if you would like the new Halloween mystery box, the link is in the description, and I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!